Hi, my husband and I bought a Class A motor home with full intentions of renovating it. And so the first thing we did in the renovation process was obviously to remove all the furniture. When we removed all the furniture, we noticed that there was a lot of damage done to the wallpaper. And so therefore, we made the decision to remove the wallpaper. I assure you, this is a task that is um, um, easier said than done. Yeah. So we started out with our research of how to remove wallpaper, but weren't specific to an RV. Uh, that was a mistake. We ended up buying this uh, wallpaper stripper and um, the tools to go with it. So this little scrapey scrape scrape along the wall and then um, scrape scrape off the wallpaper. Um, and that probably works in a home uh, where your wallpaper is on drywall, but it doesn't really work in an RV where your wallpaper is on plywood. So um, lesson learned. And I started researching how we were gonna be able to remove the wallpaper in our motorhome. And um, what I found was what you really need is um, a heating element to loosen up the adhesive so you can get in there and start peeling off the wallpaper. And that is what we've pretty much done. I have uh, removed most, most of the wallpaper in the RV and we'll take a little walk-see in a minute. Uh, but for right now, I'd like to show you what I've done to remove the wallpaper, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is you take a box cutter, like so, and you're gonna go around all the edgings in your motorhome. So you're gonna go around all of the window frames, which I have already done. Um, you're gonna go um, along all of the um, wood, right, all of the uh, wood areas. You're gonna go along all through here and um, all around your countertops as such. So you're basically gonna outline pretty much everything in the RV where the wallpaper is. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna scour it by taking long strips in the wallpaper. Now I've pretty much done that all over, um, except for a little bit around this window. Uh, oh yeah, because I wanna do a main strip here but you're basically just gonna scour it all along until you've made up strips in the wallpaper. And then once you've made up the strips, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find an area where um, the wallpaper is already like coming, coming apart or coming away from the wall. And that's gonna be your, your first little section that you're gonna dig into, right? And then once you've got it going, even just a little bit, um, is all you need, uh, although you could use this tool here to, um, if, if you don't, for example, if you don't have a little peel away, uh, peel away a little piece already going, you can use this tool to um, get under the wallpaper as you see, right? Pretty cool. Um, and then once you have a little piece going, that is really all you need to introduce the heating element that is then going to um, loosen up that adhe adhesive and let you uh, allow you to start peeling it away. All right, so I've got my blow dry, my handy dandy blow dryer in hand, and I'm going to take that little piece that I, we already uh, not that one. I'm going to take this little corner up here, and we're just going to heat it up. away and it's, it's getting looser and looser as that adhesive but gets warmed up all right so this piece i'm just going to start peeling it away peel it a little bit heat it up a little bit peel heat and as you can see it's peeling right off. <laughs> That's obviously where I cut a strip. <laughs> um, so you can also see where it's really important to cut the outline 
because that's how you're going to be able to pull this away. Um, and my outline wasn't so good there. It's all right. It's all right. Um, and uh, the next step after you pull up all your wallpaper is going to be uh, doing some sanding and of course the primer, the paint, and the sealant. So um, I wanted to show you also the rest of the place and all the work that we've already done thus far. I did want to share with you uh, what happens when um, when you get to a strip and it kind of peels off there and it didn't take your whole strip down, right? And so now you're like left with, ah, uh, it didn't take the whole strip down. So the scraper scraper tool here, you're just gonna get it going, boom, just like that, just like that. That's why that tool is so handy. And then start working it with your blow dryer again. Remember, heat, pull, heat, pull. And um, it'll strip all the way down. You won't have any problems. I just wanna add that little tidbit for you. All right, so we're gonna take a quick little walk. Um, this is the living area. And we've removed all of the wallpaper except for on this um, one wall here. And that was just so that I could show you guys how we did it. Um, and then we'll walk through the rest, but uh, behind all of that wood over there, um, all of that wallpaper is gone. That wood there is going to replace um, the shenanigans that's on this wall, um, because that wall had a bunch of um, mirror strips. And when we removed the mirrors, as you can see, what is left behind is a hot mess. No scraping and sanding is going to do that baby justice. So we're just gonna replace the wood, easy peasy. Um, all right, so we're walking, we're walking, and into the bedroom. This is where um, <laughs> where I attempted to remove some of uh, the wall. The wallpaper removal process started in this wall. Um, when we were uh, using the products that don't work. Uh, the only areas that were agreed that we would leave the wallpaper was um, in the closet areas. Nobody's really gonna see that. And, um, and it's just, you know, a real hassle um, to get into those nooks and those um, crannies, if you will. So we're probably gonna repaint, we're just gonna paint over that wallpaper. Okay, now we're in the bathroom. I don't know if you can see, lighting is pretty bad. Um, so all the wallpaper has been removed in here as well, except for in the cabinets. And um, there is one wall in here, in the bathroom, that needs to have the uh, wallpaper removed. I'm not gonna do that because I injured myself when I was uh, working on this last weekend. And we will talk about that in a minute. So the hubs, the hubs is gonna help me out with that room. Um, and now we're walking back into the living space. So um, as you see, we've gotten, we have completed a lot of work in removing all the wallpaper. Um, as soon as I'm done with this wall today, whoo, sanding process begins. I did wanna share with you um, my injury that I got from the whole uh, wallpaper removal process. So I'm going to just warn you in advance that um, the bathroom, we're removing the wallpaper in the bathroom is a lot harder than the rest of the RV. And I assume it's because of the moisture in there, but um, the adhesive like works overtime in there. It is super, super adhesive. And so I was using this little um, uh, scraper tool. I was using this tool in this hand. Mm -hmm. So you see where I'm going and I was scraping with this hand and I had the blow dryer in the other hand and um, that, it kind of got jammed and slipped and uh, under this bad boy is eight stitches. So last weekend we got to spend some time in our local emergency room. It was awesome. So just be careful. Um, remember that the adhesive is like uber adhesive in the bathroom and take extra caution there. Hi, so today I'm going to uh, walk you through how, no. Hi, so my husband and I are renovating our uh, Class A um, motorhome. Uh, we impart a, uh, hi, uh, my husband and I decided to buy a Class A, hi. My husband and I bought a used Class A motorhome and wanted to uh, renovate it. 
and so part of our renovation process started, well actually started, um, hi, my husband and I bought a class A motor home and uh, with all, I um, had this scraper in this hand, I, I, know, I know you know where I'm going with this, so I'm scraping away and then I've got the uh, blow dryer in this hand. The joys, the pains, the good, the bad, the tears, the blood. Yes, it's all part of the process. Yay, RV renovations. That was bad.